Good afternoon. My name is Maura Benjo. I'm the physical and health education teacher. I'm here to see, talk on the topic basketball. Today, by the end of the lesson, the students should be able to narrate the history of basketball, state the skills used in basketball, mention the officials, and finally state the rules and the regulation in basketball because for every game to be well organized, it should have rules and regulation and there should be officials to officiate the games. So we are starting with the history of basketball and this is the way I listed it for easy understanding. So number one thing you should know, you should ask where is this game from? Where is the game of basketball from? Is it that it started from Nigeria? No, the game did not start from Nigeria. The game of basketball started from the United States of America. Someone brought this game. Dr. James My Smith is a physical and health education teacher. He introduced the game of basketball, but it, it was first played in America, in the United States of America, in the year 1891. So basketball came into existence in the year 1891. And in 1936, it was introduced into the Olympics, which means that before 1936, the game was just played as an ordinary game. But in 1936, it was introduced into the Olympic Games. Then who brought this game into Nigeria? The Christian missionaries. They brought the game of basketball into Nigeria. Those people that brought the Christian, the Christianity religion into Nigeria, they also brought some of the games that we hear about today like the volleyball and the rest of them. So they also brought basketball game into Nigeria in the year 1965. So the game of basketball started being played in Nigeria in the year 1965. Then we move to the basic skills in basketball. We have the throwing. We all know what is throwing. To throw a ball to your teammates, you have to throw and the more you are throwing, you are passing. So throwing and passing, they mean the same thing. Then dribbling. The way you use your feet in dribbling in football, you make use of bouncing to dribble in basketball. Then we have catching. When you throw the ball to your teammate, it is expected for him or her to catch the ball. So you throw, you catch. To shoot is to make a, a powerful shot that can either make you score a goal into your net or something like that. Then faking, as the name goes. Faking means like faking the ball to prevent your opponent from getting it from your teammates. You can fake it. It's also part of the basic skills in basketball. Now we have the officials in basketball. The officials include the referee, the umpire, the timekeeper, and the scorer. The referee, in any game you see the referee, is the one in charge of that game. It's to make sure the rules, the players, and their, the players are in their correct uniform. The rules is adhered to and to make sure that the equipment to be used are in good working po uh, position. Then the umpire assists the referee, the timekeeper, he keeps the time, he keeps the time when the game starts and when the game is supposed to end. The scorer, he records the points as they are made. If team A make a score, he will record. If team B make a score, he will also record. Then we have the rules in basketball. That is our final subheading. The rules in basketball. The game of basketball, you can score from any angle. From any part of the court you are, you can score from any angle, but not outside the court. You should not, an opponent should not push 